One of the things I couldn't help noticing on my trip to the aquarium was how it sits right on the water. And while I was sketching, I noticed certain unusual features. For instance, this ramp around the aquarium slopes slightly up. So when I got back to my studio, I looked this up online and I found out that this ramp goes up by design to make room for the rising waters that will happen around the globe in the 21st century. So if you warm up all of the oceans, that water is going to expand and ultimately it's going to rise. That's Bud Riss, president of the New England Aquarium. And what that means is over the next several decades, the water is going to be at least one to two feet higher than it is today. So why is the water inevitably going to rise? Well, start by thinking of the ocean as a dance floor. <laughs> You see, under normal temperatures, the ocean's water molecules move like they're doing a slow dance. Nice and easy. And a lot of them can fit on the dance floor. But pump up the jam, and every one of those molecules starts moving, pop-locking, getting down and taking up a lot more room on the dance floor. That spacing out of faster molecules is exactly what thermal expansion is and one of the major reasons oceans will rise in the 21st century as they inevitably heat up. Nice. Got it. But what can we do about this? Well, if we move from the dancing water molecules to the increase in temperature, to the CO2 increase, to the source of the CO2, we see that we can all make a big difference in this process by changing our habits at home, on the road, and in how we consume. 